Hi, it's Mike Delsignore. In today's video, I want to talk about what happens if you're under 21. What are the under 21 license consequences? What are the suspensions? So one of the more confusing areas of Massachusetts OUI laws. So let me go over it. Let's start. First, you took a breath, you refused a breath test, rather. If you refused a breath test, you're looking at a three-year license suspension. Um, and then if, if you win the case, you can ask the judge to reinstate on the refusal. Um, and you likely would get back on the road. Now, if you admit to the OUI charge, you're looking at the three years plus another 210 day license loss. Um, now you'll also get a letter from the RMV saying your license is suspended for what they call the youth alcohol program, which adds another 180 days. But when you enroll in the 24 D program, which you'll have to do uh, if you're convicted of the OUI or plea to it, that suspension will be waived. So the refusal suspension is pretty substantial, a three-year suspension for someone under 21. Yes, I think that's way too harsh, um, but unfortunately that's the law. So you're dealing with a three-year suspension. Now, can you get a hardship on it? You can, you're gonna have to go to the Board of Appeals. You'll likely get a hardship with an interlock device. So that's your first offense, refusal under 21. What happens if you took the breath test? You took the breath test, you're looking at two suspensions right off the bat. So your breath test is over 0.08 and you're under 21. Your, your license is suspended 30 days like anyone else's with the breath test being over 0.08. But then because you're, you're under 21, then you face a six month suspension. So you got basically seven months when um, you have a breath test case, you're under 21. So you can get six months of that wait by enrolling in the program. And this is the same program you'll have to do if you admit to the OUI. So you enroll in that program, your suspension will go down to 30 days and you get back on the road during the pendency of the case. Now, if you lose the OUI, you're still looking at a 210 day suspension. To get a hardship, you will likely have to go to the Board of Appeals. On a seven month suspension, it might not be worth going uh, because of the delay in getting to the board. Uh, but you'll likely have to do it, have an interlock in the device device in your car. So it may not be worth going through the hassle of installing an interlock for such a short suspension. Many people under 21 are in college and um, driving is not as important or they can get by without driving. That would be a personal decision for everybody in their case. So now the key thing to remember when you're under 21 is the legal limit's the same, the law's the same, and a lot of times in, in court, it never comes into evidence that you were actually under 21 unless it's spelled out in the report. Um, I've seen this missed by prosecutors where um, the judge or the jury is never told your age and and if, if you don't look under 21, uh, they, they may not even think you're under 21. So uh, it's something that doesn't always get emphasized in court. Um, it's something I think a jury would probably put more weight on than a judge. I think judges understand that the legal standard is the same. Um, other factors like alcohol in the car and things like that can certainly aggravate a case for somebody under 21 more so than someone's over 21. So consider fighting these cases if you're under 21. The refusal suspension is very substantial. Uh, there's not a huge downside. If you go to trial and lose, you're, you're basically looking at the same punishment. Um, now, you can um, appeal the, the um, refusal suspension. I probably would not recommend that. Um, given you can get a hardship and given it's likely the registry would take out an immediate threat suspension. So if I would, so I think a better strategy would be to go for the not guilty, try to get your license reinstated. If you try to appeal the hard, the, the refusal suspension is likely to be unsuccessful. Um, and then you're likely to get another type of suspension, you know, even before it's decided, but certainly if you win, I think you would still get, you would get a different type of license suspension. So I would skip that, as tempting as it may sound, that you can appeal it. Uh, it's probably not worth it. Definitely not worth it if you flat out refuse, if you have a case where you tried to take the breathalyzer and couldn't register a sample. Um, that may be a closer call, but I think I would, I would still avoid uh, bringing this to the RMV. Um, and that's a recent phenomenon. They never used to suspend people who, who uh, exercise their right to appeal, but that they've been doing that recently. So under 21, um, you know, I'm happy to speak to anyone's parents about this. Um, certainly the person to charge, usually uh, the par parents are heavily involved and uh, I'm glad to give my advice. A lot of times, you know, you, the 
uh, when your son or daughter is charged with an OUI, it could be very upset, tempting to want to sh- teach them a lesson, make them admit to the charge. Um, but that they, you can teach a lesson without having them have an OUI conviction on their record. Um, certainly, it's two separate issues. Certainly, someone who gets an OUI charge may have made a mistake, uh, but you can learn from it. Uh, without being convicted of OUI. My passion is helping people make the best decision for them in their case. Uh, when charged with OUI, feel free to call text anytime, 781-686-5924.